my friends, I've gone on a bit of a shopping spree and all of it's gonna help out for the property. So I've been using this big plastic tub to get my tools up to the property. That just ain't gonna work. I'm going with the Milwaukee pack out system so I can actually use the tools in the shed, use the tools in the garage, take the tools up to the property and just have them in one encased system. No more messing around. One size fits all, buy once, cry once. The last 50 years, I hope. This is a much better way to do things. I just gotta actually transfer over all the old stuff to the new stuff. The world's heaviest tool bag will be dispersed between these two tool bags. <laughs> a little dusty. That was pretty quick and painless. I've got my various uh, extra stuff that I gotta figure out how to get into here. But here's a little gem that I bought recently, a metric tape measure. Everything at the property from here on out is metric. No more five foot three and seven eighths or five foot three and 15 sixteenths. I've had enough. I just wanna deal in millimeters. It's so simple. I'm not gonna to switch to Celsius or anything like that, but the millimeters, it just makes so much more sense. I'll bring my normal tape too for anyone who uh, doesn't wanna get with the program, but eventually we're gonna switch, all metric. I'm curious how heavy this thing is compared to, what the? Oh, it's, it's still attached. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have to disconnect it to see. Oh, not bad at all. There we go. And then it snaps back on the top and everything's one piece again. Have I ever mentioned my favorite tool of all time, these Nipex flush cutters? My buddies Pat and Blaine got these for me as a gift and they're so useful. Great for snipping packaging off, all kinds of weird flush cutting uh, zip ties and such. I get these as gifts for people all the time now. Maybe 25 bucks on Amazon, but, but well worth it. The sprinklers turned on at the same time the lights went off. Get some of these for your dad, for your mom, for your girlfriend, for your boyfriend. They are such a nice little gift and uh, it'll last a lifetime. Okay, we got the big red machine sorted out for now. Oh man, I also found a bunch of good stuff at Costco. Made several Amazon purchases, but let's go talk about that stuff when we actually get up to the property. I have to say it's very funny because over the past year, I've been getting rid of so much junk, stuff that's just accumulated at my house, and I'm like, ugh, when am I ever gonna use that? And now, with 91 acres of raw land, I would have been able to use it for sure. Seatbelt. Oh, I don't think I hit it hard enough. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't make it. Oh. Ah. Okay, I wasn't taking that seriously enough. Back down. This awkward bump here is what, uh, uh, I'm just afraid of hitting it so hard. It's not even that much. Come on, we got this. <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. That's a nice experience every time. So the first thing I'm gonna do before we get anything going is get my brand new indoor outdoor rug from Costco laid out. Ah. All right, I like it. Okay, I still have a bunch of stuff I wanna unload and set up camp, but we've got a little adventure to go on first. So we've got this capped off well thing. We think it's possibly a well, maybe just a spring. We don't really know what it is, but there is a pipe going out the backside. So we're thinking maybe we poke something in there and see if we could get some flow. Who knows? Let's see what the heck is gonna happen. Let me move a little of this ground yeah. Here. If we can get any amount of flow out of this, just for trail building, for washing ourselves off, we, you know, you're not gonna drink it yet until we get it tested eventually, but just to have a little water source like this is huge. Oh, oh. <laughs> Started flowing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that was a, a little, little bit. Than I thought. I thought okay. it was good. And it looks pretty clear. Yeah. And it's actually a. 
Well, it was hard to say it might have been some buildup. Yeah. But that's a little something right there. Seems like a good amount of flow. Been watching a lot of artesian well YouTube videos. <laughs> It'll be very interesting to see if this is a year-round thing or if it dries up once the mountain starts to drain out. Oh, the roots are entrenched right there. Easy access. I'm surprised we didn't mess with this more before. <laughs> so many things. There you go. Boom. Look at her fill. Okay. It may seem like not much, but over time, over a few hours, that's definitely going to be a decent amount of water. Yeah. About six gallons up to that mark yeah. on the side. So, if we fill it up, damn, we're going to have to do math. Yeah. <laughs> as long as we start the timer. All right, okay. you ready to start it? Yeah, yeah. All right, Hold on. Here we go. Yeah, go for it. 9.53. Okay. So 9.53, we'll see how long this takes to fill up. Yeah. Then we uh, what, divide it by six, and that's how many gallons we get per, per hour. hour. Yeah. We'll figure out a good system because it'd be nice to pipe it in all the way over here. That way our water source is closer to us. Exactly. And then maybe we have a, an overflow system or something where if it trickles out of one, is your dad's got those giant water containers, then it could just feed into the next one, and yeah. the next one, and the next one, and then we'll just kind of check it every day at a certain time and hopefully that will get us all our trail building water. Normally I'd have to take this blue container, head into town by the river, fill it up in the river, then bring it back here and that's kind of a pain in the butt every time. So this is huge, especially for building berms and everything too. We, we definitely need water. So we're thinking today's project is going to be to clear this whole area out because this seems like a really good camping spot. A place where I could back the van in, we can get it nice and level. If our buddies who are coming up here in the next couple days can get it cleared out, they can park their cars, they can set up t tents and camping, and we can start to get a little more developed shred quarters out here. Trees are a little too far apart for the hammock, but I, I see a couple over there. And that area is right across the street from where I'm parking the van. So hopefully, ah, my Milwaukee packouts will make it easy for me to pack in, pack out, come and go. I don't know if I could lift this whole thing at once. Let's see. Nah, nah, one, one thing at a time. Yeah. Not heavy at all in its individual pieces. I definitely need to get a couple more for my GoPro stuff. The bigger ones that are a little dip, bit deeper are really good for that. Pretty much what I envisioned. Like it. Can I interest you in a cold drink? Absolutely. Probably time to get started early. I'm already parched and dusted. Yeah. <laughs> Just like your time in the Marines. <laughs> I need someone yelling at me. <laughs> yeah. I was actually watching an old a clip of some recruits going through boot camp and I was like, just the other night. Oh, good times. <laughs> yeah, those videos are just awesome the, to watch. So funny. How some people are kind of like running all around. That, that, that was me. I was I was like the mess of the boot camp. So yeah. Later got to be a pretty decent marine, but then in boot uh -huh. camp I was lost in the sauce. Yeah, it was a uh, it was intense. I mean, it was definitely like I'd never been on a plane. There's just like a lot of things I'd never done, yes. and then all of a sudden here I am flying into San Diego, and then I'm getting out of the plane, and there's. You know, drill, like I thought it would be later. There's actually <laughs> drill instructors in the airport looking for us. <laughs> Dude, and it was, like I seriously, I didn't poop for like a week. I was just like, oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> and then what was funny is I thought I'd be able to, uh, like, oh, I'll just make it till, you know, we get to eat lunch or dinner or whatever, and I'll have some time to relax. <sighs> no, they ruin that too. They ruin everything. I mean, you're just, going yeah oh man it's insane 49 minutes on the clock it's getting there it's not overfilling that's kind of perfect like an hour might be perfect 
So six gallons an hour roughly? Yeah, exactly. No math to be done. So this is actually one thing I didn't throw away after having it for years and never using it. It's a little pump sprayer. Oh, cool. For just like washing your hands or... That's pretty nice. Spraying off. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, low tech. Especially we could just go get yeah. water over there. That's nice. Yeah. Come on in. There we go, Cousin Gino has arrived. <laughs> Woo! Easy. So Gino was kind enough to load up his truck with a lot of the various treasures that my dad has accumulated over the years and was ready to throw out. But luckily, he didn't, so we got him. Ladders and job boxes and all kinds of stuff. What do you got there, Gino? The, uh, the Milwaukee pruner. I Weapon of choice. It. Hatchet. <laughs> the mini hatchet. <laughs> Oh yeah, like butter. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot to actually bring any food on the way up, so I got breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. So we're back from the lunch break now. Had a nice burger at the old Gregel Frosty. And my favorite Costco buy that I found, solar panel, or solar powered string lights. So I'm gonna get these out right now so I can actually charge them up. And this will hopefully look pretty cool later tonight. Oh yeah, and I also got the Tommy Bahama solar bollards so we can put these out around the campsite. When you go out to go to the bathroom at night, you don't feel so scared. I got up to go to the bathroom the last time we were up here and I was so frightened. I should have had a light. It's so dark out here. You're just like, everything's looking at us. Button up shirt, sunglasses and uh, solar lights. Tommy Bahama, everyone. So we've got it going pretty good so far. It's way better than it was. We hacked it, we slashed it, we piled everything over there in a different spot. Now Gino's gonna pull in, see how it works. Compact it. <laughs> the more we do it, the better it gets. I think so. BKXC Senior has arrived and he's ready to get to work. That's the problem with California. Poor forest management. You can see it right here. <laughs> Poor forest management. 95 degrees. It doesn't get much hotter, I, I hope. Well, we'll see. So my dad brought some big old water cans filled with water and we have to rig something up to be able to get them out of the bed of his truck because they're hundreds and hundreds of pounds. But luckily, Gino and my dad both have construction experience, rigging experience. They know how to use the come-alongs and all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna rig it up. Yeah, the rail. Oh yeah. That's how they built Rome. That's good. <laughs> if you want it, that's probably good, That's huh? good, that's good. Yeah, that's great. They need just a little wiggle in the left. Oh, Okay, you're, you're, you're clear. Oh, you got it. <laughs> it well, okay. Sorry about that. When it took, it took. Yeah, no, it went. It went perfect. Okay, it's time to check the game cameras. My favorite part. Wait, wait. <laughs> I realize as I'm editing this, we never went back to talk about the first bear sighting. Remember, I was on the game camera and I couldn't get the footage off. Eventually, I figured out that there's an option called SD card management and I flipped that switch and then all of a sudden, the 200 videos that were captured on the game cam showed up. Like one thing was good and it was the bear. So that was really cool to actually get the footage and see the bear go up to the camera and mess with it. And you actually can hear the sound of it messing with the camera. So cool. A very much a love-hate relationship with these game cameras. I would love to buy five more of them and get even more coverage of the land and see what's happening out there, but I hate all the little weird hiccups. The date has reset on itself. There's definitely times where it's recording a clip and it just records a two-second clip instead of a 30-second clip that it's set to, and I'm sure if, if, if I'm seeing those problems, I'm sure there's tons of animals and things that we've missed out on. So 
I'm holding back until we get internet and we get power up at the place and then I'm gonna go even more crazy with the cameras and all that stuff, but we'll get to that eventually. So let's get back to present day, not even present day, obviously you can tell. More has happened between that point and this point, but uh, let's get back to this. Yeah, full day so far. Yeah, we did it all. That looks like, oh, big bear, big bear. Big bear. Holy smokes. <laughs> big bear. That that bear could have made that big poop over there. Yeah. Going down. See, now the dates and times are all off, though. Oh, the, man. The camera blinked out, so, eh, that's that's okay. So that we, we got to save that one, though, because yeah. that's a keeper. <laughs> Damn. Oh, another night. And then a, oh, a, little a, bird. a bird at night. <laughs> that's so funny. Per perfectly gotta on camera. Got to save that, though, because that's yeah. great. You got this big bear and then the super ferocious. <laughs> What is this is actually Road <laughs> good footage. Man, I hate that the date is not on, like the date is messed up. It just messes oh, there was a everything. Couple of That's a fox. Oh, That's yeah. a real deal fox. I think it had an animal in its mouth too. Oh, that clip is so short. What is garbage game camera? Ah, chip oh, that chipmunk. That's chipmunk. So That's the day. That's a nice fox. Like good angle, big bushy tail. Yeah. Oh man. We went down to Goomba's again to have a nice little pizza meal. That worked out really well. Oh, what a awesome day. We got a lot done. Not a lot to show for it. We got a lot of junk laying around for sure. Got the water tanks out. We got the spot cleared back here so at least somebody can pull in. Got my tools out, kind of, sorta. Next up is the outhouse and that's gonna be pretty fun. Probably take all day. Hot as heck out here tomorrow. But stick around and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you on the trail. I don't know what to say when I'm not doing writing videos. <laughs> I'll see you on the trail.